Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max for the PSP is one of those games where you know just what you're going to get out of it because it's essentially a perfect translation of the arcade original and the various home conversions that have come out later. So it's got a ton of different playable characters and a ton of different modes of play, and you've got it in the palm of your hand, so what more could you ask for if you're a fan of 2D fighting games? The Street Fighter Alpha series, of course, started off as a spin-off of Street Fighter 2 and reintroduced some of the same characters and some new ones, but over time, by the time Alpha 3 came out, it had assembled basically everyone from the Street Fighter 2 era along with most of the Street Fighter 1 characters and a whole bunch of other characters. So now you've got nearly 40 different characters assembled all in this one game. You could play it pretty much however you want. When you get to the main title screen, it's almost overwhelming how many different options there are. But you've got all the standard stuff like your arcade mode and your versus mode and your practice mode. And you've also got some really cool stuff like dramatic battle that pits two characters against one and re reverse dramatic battle where you get to take on two opponents at the same time. Better still, this version of the game adds characters not previously found in versions of Alpha 3, so you've got guys like the stick fighter Eagle, the Kung Fu Master Yun, and a couple of others thrown in here for good measure, and the more characters the better. What's pretty surprising about this version of Alpha 3 isn't just that all the content is crammed in here, but also just that it looks surprisingly good, even though a lot of the presentational elements date back to just years and years ago. When you squish it down to the PSP's small screen, everything stands out in razor-sharp detail, and the action is fast and smooth and, and just really looks pretty impressive. There are a lot of well-drawn characters and really cool-looking backgrounds filled with appearances by other uh, Capcom characters from over the years, so the game's just fun to look at and makes you wonder how come there aren't more 2D games on the PSP. The other thing is there are just a lot of different ways to play this game. In addition to all the different modes and characters, you've also got different fighting styles for the different characters, which determine the kind of super moves that they get to use and some of the other characteristics. Alpha 3 also introduced a few new features uh, to the Alpha series and to 2D fighting games in general. You've got stuff like a guard meter, so you can't just be overly defensive because after a while, if you keep blocking, your block will be shattered and your opponent is going to get some free hits on you. Other than that, this is basically a tried and true 2D fighting game. You battle it out against your opponent using different special moves and jumping attacks and all that kind of stuff. And there's some pretty wild variety in terms of the different types of characters available. You've got everything from your big brawny uh, grappler types to your really fast and maneuverable types and pretty much everything in between. If there's a problem with the game, it's that it wasn't originally developed with the PSP controls in mind and the PSP's D-pad and buttons aren't quite perfect for a game like this. The controls certainly aren't so bad that you won't be able to get your moves out or anything like that. It's just that when you see a perfect translation of this game, you can't help but wish that you had a big arcade stick set up along with it to be able to control things flawlessly. One of the other neat features of Alpha 3 Max is that it supports ad hoc multiplayer, so if you've got other PSP-carrying Street Fighter fan friends, you could get together and play this game wirelessly with them. Overall, this game is really easy to recommend to any Street Fighter fan who's got a PSP. Just a few years ago, it was totally mind-boggling to think about the possibility of having a, a perfect conversion of a game like this in the palm of your hand, complete with all the sound effects and all the graphics and all the endings and everything. But here it is, complete with Wi-Fi multiplayer and all that. Uh, all you have to do is kind of work your way past some of the PSP's uh, control nuances. But at that point, you'll have a Street Fighter wherever you want to go, and that's pretty darn cool.